Well, hello there folks and welcome to another Mr. T, aka the Whiskey River, review for the Mobile Mike and Friends show. Now, trying something a little bit different here, my, my little samurai warrior here, so that may give you a little bit of a clue. Now, I've had a couple of these whiskies before, not of this, this one here, but uh, a couple of this brand I've had from the barrel. A, <clears throat> the coffee grain and tonight I'm going to be trying the Nicker blend now this is supposed to show what the blenders and what the people in Japan are capable of doing <clears throat> it is a blend it sits at 40 percent so whether I'm gonna add any H2O into that tonight all depends on what this tastes like now, as I say, it's it's forty percent. I'm not sure whether it says it says a selection of slightly peated malt, coffee still grain whiskies from Nickers at various stocks. This well balanced blended whiskey is a smooth taste for the casual whiskey enthusiast. Very clean and fresh on the nose. A slight orangey, citrusy, zesty type of smell there. And you're getting that slightly spicy oak nose that you get from a really good oak barrel. Maybe getting a little bit of, I wouldn't say peat, because you can't really tell it's in there. But there is something lingering in the background. Definitely a little bit of spice. There's a little bit of vanilla in there, maybe a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of Maybe a little bit of nutmeg. I'm just gonna a bit dry tonight. Bit of nutmeg, bit of cinnamon, bit of vanilla, that citrusy zesty orange in there. It's very light. Very light. This I don't even think I'm gonna put water in it because it is that light. That is very easy drinking. You could easily get absolutely sozzled without knowing that. Again, it's got a slightly orangey taste to it, but not overpowering it. It's got that little, you know when you get your candied orange that you put in your cakes at Christmas? It's got that sweet, citrusy, is it wrong to say sticky taste? If you know what I mean. A little bit of spice in there again. A little bit of the citron, a little bit of nut, uh, citron, cinnamon. God, that's all I've had. Yeah, a little bit of cinnamon again, and slightly florally on on the palate, which is, to be honest, it, that's a damn fine for a blend compared to Ding Dongs and that bird type whiskey. Let's see what the finish is like. It's got a very clean finish to it, yet very fruity and a ever so slight floral finish to it. It's not heavy, it's not overpowering. Yeah, very good. Now then, adding water to it, it has kind of opened it up a little bit. A hell of a lot more spice but it's kind of cut back in the floral and the uh, the vanilla taste to it so it's kind of enriched the spice taste it's the uh, the cinnamon the nutmeg there and I'd go as far to say as mm, touch of clove and the finish is still there believe it or not even with a couple of drops of water at 40%, the finish is still there. So, I don't know how long I've been rambling on on this, probably about five, 10 minutes. This, for what it is, a blended whiskey done in Japan, and it's been done very, very well. Without further ado, if you like this video, then give it the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, but you would like to, click the bell. Uh, comment below if you've got any comments 
if you've tried this let us know what you think and uh, with, with that Mr T signing off see you again please click subscribe it really helps us when you do that and click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video